the way we do our business. We're going to lose them. You know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. This is kind of where the rubber meets the road. <clears throat> what really matters to me are safe and orderly environments. Since the Connecticut shooting, safety has taken on a whole new meaning with me. I have talked to more parents, answered more emails from elementary school parents. Surprisingly, I haven't heard from any middle or high school parents, but elementary school parents about the safety of their children. This is big business. This is serious business. And you try telling a mama that her child is safe after what happened in Connecticut. That's hard to do. Um, we want to make sure that our schools are safe. I will tell you, on a personal note, I do not think that Hillsborough and Polk Counties did us any favors this week when they put law enforcement presence in their elementary schools. Because now I have all the mamas ginned back up wanting to know why I don't have law enforcement at all of our elementary schools. And it's a tough, tough decision to make. This district historically has really debated on the whole idea of whether or not we want a, a, an armed, uniformed police officer at our elementary schools and what is the message that sends. We're living in a different day and age. I, I get that. We're going to be talking. I'm going to be meeting with Sheriff Nako uh, a week after next, I believe, and we're going to be talking about different options and some of the things that we can and cannot do and should and should not be doing. Uh, but we want to make sure that we communicate continue to communicate with our parents uh, the safety of their children. We have got to do that. Um, discipline. Uh, 